over the last eight weeks, most of us realize that we have more in common with each other than we've ever realized. If you stood in line at Home Depot waiting to get into the garden center, then you and I have something in common. If we've gone to a store looking for a particular item and that item was not available, you and I have something in common. If you've had to change where you drive through to get something to eat or drink, then we have something in common. One of the things that we might have in common is anxiety. I think we're anxious about a lot of things. When we go to the store seeking an item, we're probably anxious about that store having that item. We can be anxious about so many things, especially when our life is much different today than it's ever been. If you think about anxiety and think about the Bible, you might first think about the Apostle Paul, who wrote about anxiety when he said, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Now, I don't know about you, but that, that verse is a little intimidating because it says, don't be anxious about anything. Well, I personally find that pretty hard to live into. Don't be anxious about anything. Well, if we dig into that verse, I think we can understand what Paul is saying. But maybe a verse that speaks to each of us and might help us today, might help us to be encouraged in our anxiety as we think about the future. You might be anxious about coming to church Sunday. I don't want you to be anxious about that. You may be anxious about wearing a mask. I don't want you to be anxious about that at all. I want you to have some encouragement that God is with us during our anxiety. David wrote um, a powerful psalm. It's 139. You may be familiar with parts of it. It's the, the psalm where it says we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And God knew us before we were ever in our mother's womb. But he finishes that psalm and he says this. He says, search me, O God. And he says, search me in several ways. He says, search me and know my heart. God, search me and, and discover what's in my heart. He also says, test me. He says, search me and know my anxious ways. So if we pray and we seek God that he will know our anxious ways, then he says, know my heart so that there's anything that is offensive in me. See, all those are grouped together. They aren't all the same. They're different. And so I want to focus for just a minute on this anxiety issue, is that if we'll ask God to search us and know our anxious ways, then he makes this promise. The, the psalm ends with this line, and lead me in the way everlasting. And I want to focus on lead me. So two things, we focus on the idea that God can know our anxiety. In fact, he does know our anxieties that we have today which may be many, but he will also lead us, lead us in our times of anxiety. That's a great promise of scripture. And I want you to lean in that today. I want you to lean into that if you're anxious about anything. If you're anxious over what next month is gonna look like or two months from now or three months, then that's legitimate anxiety. You're anxious about a lot of things. But today I want you to lean into understanding that God knows your anxiety and He will lead you. What a great promise of Scripture that we can have today. It's for us. It's for our understanding. It's for our life. Let God lead you in your moments of anxiety.